welcome to the grand final edition of Rooster TV and today I've found a person that's small in stature but big in presence and personality, <laughs> you know, our great chef at the Northern Tavern, Mark Gibbs. Gibbsy, thanks for joining us. Thanks Tubby. Just had to grab Gibbsy off the barbecue, we're here at Prospect Oval, last training session of the year for the boys, uh, it's a very vibrant crowd so thanks for jumping in Gibbsy and having a chat mate. So uh, firstly, um, you know, the, you obviously got a good relationship with the boys with what you do for them during the week and you just run us through a weekly uh, you know, catch up with the boys and what you put on the table for them. Yeah, the um, boys usually come into the Northern Tavern where I'm head chef there, probably about uh, two or three times a week, where I do, um, I cook them tea, come in and have lunch, uh, occasionally at breakfast, um, and then Thursdays or Fridays, depending on what day we play, I make a big 40 litres um, of soup, and they have soup as well, um, and occasionally we do um, bacon and eggs on recovery on a Sunday. Rumours are, mate, there's a, a certain person at the uh, football club by the name of John Wern that does try and uh, touch the, the food every now and then. You, you're happy yeah. with what he does with it? No, not really. Um, he thinks he's a chef, but I'm going to, um, after the season's ending, I'm going to let him do a bit of cooking classes with me yeah, and see how he comes out. <laughs> excellent, mate. Now the boys do appreciate. Gibbs, he puts a lot of time and effort into his food. And uh, yeah, it's through the finals, we uh, think he might have added a bit of... Uh, bit of firepower because the boys are back on track so good work there Gibbsy. Um, on to the game from the weekend mate like super game by the by the boys they were you know down and out and then they came back with a massive rush at the end of the game uh, you know you boys on the hill made a massive amount of noise uh, how, how were the emotions throughout the game? Yeah um, by half time I was uh, pretty pretty annoyed because we weren't we were getting our hands on it but couldn't score and um, then the second half it was just unreal I've never seen a game of footy um, turned the way it did and full credit to um, everybody involved because um, it was amazing. Yep. And on to the players mate, you got any, got any favourites? Uh, yeah, Tropianos, he's a good one. I love um, Maxi Fring, our captain. Um, I call him Cookie Monster because he's aggressive, angry <laughs> and um, and Ullman as well. He's um, I like the way he goes about it because he's um, aggressive, hard at it. Robbie Young, I love his forward pressure. There's something North Adelaide needed this year, a small forward with a bit of aggression. Reminds me a bit of my old mate, Tony Antipas, in his day at North. Anyone else? No? Um, what, about, what about some words on the, uh, the couple of the young guns that have come in the side late in the year? Jordan Ollie. Sweet, um, you know, Connor Rosie, Boyd Woodcock, like these guys have stood up. Ola Carnes. Great, great. Yeah, yeah Maris, they've all stood Maris. up great throughout the, uh, throughout the final series. Yeah, fantastic. They've been really, really good. Bit of new blood into the side, which... Um, Helps the side, I think, a lot of run, and they've got a bright future ahead of them, and good luck to them. And I've heard, and I've heard you've had a, uh, a good mate of yours uh, just standing with you on the hill that's been uh, getting getting a bit more passionate each week, and now we're in the GF. He, uh, he coached our last grand final team. Unfortunately, we lost that day, but... Uh, yeah, Joshy you've Franco. Got, you've got Josh out there on the yeah, hill, Yeah, no, he's doing all right, and he's actually wearing his Guernsey and scarf and hat, and um, you know what? He, he's um, a part of it, yeah. and he's... Um, really loves North Adelaide and proud to be a rooster. Yeah, I did see Josh the other day and uh, yeah I reckon he's nearly bloody fit enough to put a Guernsey on and, uh, and jump out there. I reckon he could, he could fire a few of the red leg boys up. But, well uh, um, he said to Maxi Fring during a week mate if you can't get up I'm ready to ready go. To go. Well, I'd, I'd play Josh for sure. Yeah. For sure. On to the coaches mate obviously um, you know, they have a lot to do with you as well with Kari and Serge. Yep. Um, got a favourite? Yeah, I reckon it's Serge I reckon. Oh, um, really? Yeah he gives me a bit more love than um, our coach. Um, and I, like, and I like the way Serge played. I reckon he was a lot tougher um, than, than Kari. Yeah, I reckon he was a little bit harder. And I don't know if Kari will agree with that, but <laughs> hey, no, I love them both. They're all really good. They respect me. Um, always willing to have a chat. Sometimes I give them annoying questions, but um, <laughs> and they give me um, a one-liner, and we all know what the one-liner probably <laughs> is. And um, But no, they're good guys, and um, they've actually, them two have actually turned our club around, I thought. Um, yeah, fantastic. So, another thing you've been involved in lately, obviously, the, um, you know, there's been some uh, banner making of uh, some sort over the uh, finals. Mm. I mean, you know, the AFL come up with these plastic uh, crap bloody banners, and our boys have just come up with these absolute monsters, and they're definitely the best in, yeah. in, in the nation, I reckon. And they've, I've had a sneak peek of the one that's coming up this weekend, and it's uh, probably the most impressive one I've seen. So keep yeah. an eye on that. Yeah. Have you had a bit to do with it? Yeah, I've been in the cheer squad, um, grog squad, since probably 1983. And um, North Adelaide Footy Club always put some money into um, making really good banners. There's never um, any money spared when it comes to uh, money. And this weekend, everyone look out because this banner is sensational. So um, 
Yeah, I can't say too much about it or I'll get shot, but let me tell you, it's the biggest banner ever to be created. So look out. Might need some more manpower to get it up, I reckon. It's yeah. pretty huge. But uh, on to this week's game, mate. We'll have a quick chat about it. Obviously, we're playing against Nord, who have been the most dominant yep. side in the competition with a 13-game winning streak. And, you know, just got some very good players. Um, you obviously watch the game a fair bit. Who, who, yep. the, who are the dangers for the Roosters this week? Um, Panos, I think we really have to watch him. Um, Greg v McGarry Millist. Uh, Lewis Johnson, I think we have to probably watch him a bit. Um, but I reckon if we can win inside, I reckon we'll smash him on the outside. So a bit like last week with the Eagles, we got on top in the midfield um, with Cookie Monster and Co. Yeah. Um, and I think we can actually really, ex really um, get to him on the outside. So yeah, I agree. With you. I agree with you, mate. I reckon it's going to be a cracking game of footy. You know, both teams score heavily, and yeah. I think it's whoever gets the momentum and runs with it will get yeah. the, get the uh, job done at the end of the day. So. On to the grand final, like massive day for both football clubs actually. We're playing each other in the reserves at 11.25. We beat them in the uh, second semi by a couple of goals. So we've got a, a couple of really handy ins this week in the reserves with Lee Risewick getting up to uh, play his fair, like, final game for the football club and James Craig's trained for a month and he's going to suit up as well. So we're all in to win it. Um, Serge has Serge uh, pumped the boys up and uh, hopefully they can get us off to a good start for the day. And then on to the big game, North Nord, 3 o'clock start, the, big, you know, the league game. I mean, everyone's pumped, and uh, I'll hand you over to Gibbsy for the final final pump up for the boys before we uh, sign off for 2018. Yeah, everybody, um, all the uh, Shear Squad, Grog Squad on the hill, so keep a lookout for us. We're going to be loud, we're going to explode our late oval, and look out because here comes the Cox. It's our year. Go Roosters. I hope we see you all down there loud and proud, guys. Thanks you. Thank you. Thank you.